Hi, this is Highbridge Caravans, Devon Branch, and on this uh, very typical early October day, 2022, we're doing a video on this, not at all typical, very, very handsome, very rare, and uh, I really like it. It's a uh, 2014, late 2014, Autotrail V-Line 620. So the V-Lines were Autotrail's van conversion range. Now, they still do them today. That's a V-line over there on a 20 plate one. Looks very much like a normal panel van conversion. But back in 2014, I think these came out for 13 model year. Um, they were very, very different. Uh, and I think they're really, really cool in fairness to it. Um, very different from the newer, more generic ones, which are just based within the realms of the original metal panel van. These V-lines are a little bit special in fairness to it because they put their own roof on. They put the... Um, running boards and things like that on they put the uh, LED headlights on or the running LED DRLs um, and they're great looking vans uh, but in the end what happened was they realized they cost so much to produce that they just stopped doing it and just did generic van conversions like everybody else but these early ones I think they ran to about 15 or 16 in this shape uh, before they just got too expensive to produce are really 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 cool fantastic looking vans so this is a Autotrail V-Line 620 it's from 2014 it's an automatic which makes it even more special it's got a bed over a garage well is it a garage it's a fixed bed anyway which you can fold up so I suppose it sort of is just a two berth two seat belt so it means you've got side sofa at the front which you won't see normally with a fixed bed to the rear which is good if there's only two of you more comfortable lounging more floor space three and a half tons you can drive it on your car license based on the Fiat Ducato uh, six meter 2.3 with a six speed automatic gearbox which is bomb proof reliable and economical only done 32,000 miles or just uh, just under 33 which is 5.99 long certainly not 2.51 wide it's 2.2 wide or 2.05 not including the mirrors 2.8 high because it's got its own uh, fiberglass roof on and it's priced at 42.95 we internet price check our stock so this will be um probably the best one and certainly the best price one out there and we think we'll prep it to a better level as well which we'll have a talk about in a little bit so this is in slate gray or iron gray metallic which is still and always was the best selling color looks really really good you've got the chrome railings all around the side that's factory fitted you've got the um led drls at the front there as well which is very very modern it's 64 plates it's late 2014 it's on the 130 horsepower engine that is absolutely fine you want to remap it to 180 it's 250 quid it's totally not necessary we never see it done but if you want to you can do i've got a big eight and a half meter van i remap mine um but you don't need to with this size of van real smart uh oz or dynamics alloy wheels in black very uh, very fashionable 15 inch you got the high chrome uh, door handles massive tinted windows it's another one of the areas uh, which meant the v-line had to change because these are so expensive but they look amazing and they run all the way down the side really really cool and they put their own as i said before their own fiberglass roof on now that makes it uh, taller better looking uh, more storage uh, better insulation and they can fit this factory fitted awning into the fiberglass roof but it also means they were massively more expensive compared to just buying a panel van and fitting it out because uh, they had to cut the roof off put their own grp roof on the other thing that gave you which meant you could have a coach built style panoramic roof light in the roof which uh, you're just starting to see one or two uh, well a few van conversions coming out with that now but nothing of that size in fairness to it and nothing else was like it in 2014 so really really cool big led awning light there underneath your wind out factory fitted two late awning massive side windows really really cool these are all in good condition by the way so they're all fine van itself on the outside it has come in it's not been cleaned this it's a little bit grubby doesn't smell of anything just needs to clean it will come up absolutely fine We've got real good valeters as well, so before it goes out, it will be fully minted. It will also get a new MOT, a major engine service, including cam belt if it's not been done in the last four years. They do every five. Uh, full habitation service and our own in house 12 month warranty, which we like to think is the best in the business because you do with us, not a warranty company like everybody else. Coming around to the rear corner, there we've got factory fitted gas barbecue point for your gas barbecue, which is dead handy, so lugging your gas bottles around. Around the back, you've got and they still do do this today in fairness to it in the sport range uh, you've got a lift up tailgate uh, normally 
panel vans have got the uh, opening barn doors. Now they're fine, but they don't look that cool. Uh, storage isn't as good, and uh, they drafty as hell, uh, which is not good when you're sleeping next to them. So Autotrail put this whole back end on themselves. I don't think it's manufactured by Autotrail. I'm sure they buy it in from uh, from somebody. Maybe they, maybe they do. Maybe they made it themselves. Very expensive to do. You've got this real big bit of storage underneath of there which is shelved out your gas locker is underneath of there uh, this one's got two gas bottles in it so I'm guessing they changed to a van with a gas tank so if you need the color gas bottles it comes with it uh, your dining table for the front is in there as well so real good storage handy tow bar on the back which is good with a handy tennis ball on it if in case you uh, hit your hit your shins on it and behind here they had something and I can't remember what it was uh, but it's not there anymore <laughs> I can't remember what it was they used to put in behind here in Furnace Tip but uh, might have been some little picnic chairs or something but they're not with it anymore anyway we can't replace those but yeah loads of storage around the back there let's push that back down it's all on the gas struts very firm bodywork condition check absolutely fine we'll black up these plastics before it goes out on the ballot yeah, it's fine. It's a tiny little graze there, tiny, tiny little scuff back there, but it's perfectly in keeping with the age of the vehicle. Coming around this side, it's had at some time a refillable gas system fitted. It's not in that in there anymore, but it does come with two Calagas bottles. But if you want it to fit refillable gas for long-term European work, then uh, half the work's been done already because it's got the filler. Flue for your Truma gas and mains electric powered heating and hot water system. That's the same system you'll find in. Ooh, I don't know, 80% of all motomes on the market. Set toilet dump point there. Waste and fresh water drain taps there. Fresh water fill up point here for your underslung fresh tank. And your main hook up point. Uh, on the roof there's a large solar panel. So you've got main hook up, uh, leisure battery and solar panel. So that should make you quite independent. And again, bodywork, stone chip, no it isn't. I can't really see anything. It's a little scuff, no it's a cobweb. No, can't see anything there. Windows, all really good down there as well. Having a look at the cab spec, so we've got full concertina blinds and flyer screens at the front there. We've got a reversing camera here because it's the automatic, it's the uh, leather gear stick and steering wheel. It does look like a manual gear stick, that, but it is an auto, it's uh, actually a, a robotic clutch, so it has a clutch, same as you'll find in most lorries and buses and things have this commercial automatic gearbox. Uh, we've got air conditioning, we've got cruise control, we've got heated wing mirrors, central lock in. It's got its original auto trail head unit there. To be honest with you, they're, um, they're dated. Um, you might want to replace that with something a bit more up to date. We'll have a, another chat about that on the inside of the van. So that's it on the outside. Um, I can't, oh, there's a tiny little stones tip there, but again, that's fine really. Yeah, I can't see much to report on the outside of it. A little, little scuff there on the DRL. A little bit of crazing here on the grill. The little rubber bit that they stick to the grill. But yeah, nothing, nothing to report that's not in keeping with a late 2014 van. So coming to the inside, so it does need a need a hoover out and a wipe off this, but looking to the inside, so that's the back of the kitchen. You've got your front side sofa lounge, you've got twin swivel captain seats with armrests, and your lovely big panoramic roof light and your big coach built style curved cabinet work above there. We've got rear speakers for your stereo as well and a useful outside main socket. So if you sat outside, you can plug electric items in there. We've also got, I really like this. It doesn't need a hoover out though. Handy little outside storage drawer. Really like that for your outside, outside kit and equipment. Easy to do with two hands. There we go. Carpet's a little bit grubby, but we'll, uh, we'll wash them off. Half leatherette seating, very practical. Um, fault wise, see down there we've got a little bit of a a little bit of scuffy wood sort of thing. We can we can colour that in with uh, with the wood crayons that we've got just to take your eye off it a little bit. I'm just going to pull the door to as it's a bit chilly. It's a bit noisy here. And we'll be able to see the panel on the inside of the door. So you've got proper coach built windows, double glazed opening, concertina blinds and fly screens. We've got storage. Storage, tiny little bit of storage. Oh, that's bigger than you think actually over the cab. And then coming back to this head unit, so auto trails were supplied at the time, all of them, panel vans, coach built of this level, with a flip down TV, that's actually just a monitor. Now that runs via this head unit, and this head unit was a, um, 
uh, a Far East derived sat nav stroke stereo system. Very advanced for the time. Uh, so this isn't a TV. You have to use the free view that's built into there. To be honest with you, it's old fashioned, it's a bit clunky. Uh, you might want to replace that at some time. I'm sure it'll work fine, but at some time you want to upgrade to a more modern unit with Apple CarPlay. Uh, and TV wise, if you want one, maybe consider having a TV point fitted elsewhere and not bothering with that. But I'm sure it'll all work, we'll check it out anyway. Uh, high level cupboards up here, she's probably got the entertainment system in it. No, it doesn't. There'll be lots of boxes and switches for that somewhere. There we go, there's the on off of the entertainment system. It's had a USB charging point fitted in there, that's not standard. Another double glazed window there, upholstery's fine. That's where your table that we saw in the boot goes on a leg there. And then we look at this really cool kitchen. So the other thing that V-Line stopped doing is this really, really smart cabinet work. Um, so this is really, really cool. It's just a, I don't know, is anything, no, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just a bit of, no, nothing wrong with it. So very unusual looking, very different from anything else. So we've got the integrated, flat fronted, almost Scandinavian looking cooker. We've got a 12 volt fridge freezer in there. And then on top, we've got your sink. And we've got a two band hob, all with this, I don't know what it is, glass, yeah, yeah, tough and, tough and glass um, sort of finish, really, really smart, very minimal, very Scandinavian, very different from anything else. Um, I don't think, there's a couple of marks on the tap, I don't know, no, just wiped off, I just need to wipe over it, it's fine. Does have a couple of plug sockets there, which is handy. Does have a Sterling inverter. Now that will invert your leisure battery into mains power. That will not pass muster uh, with National Caravan Council regulations. So for safety purposes, on pre-delivery inspection, we will have to remove that inverter. We'll give it to you. If you choose to have it refitted, that's up to you. All an inverter does, it allows you to run mains equipment off of your leisure battery, which will then drain your leisure battery very quickly. So unless you desperately need hair straighteners, or to charge a mains only piece of equipment that you can't get a 12 volt charger for, which is not very many. Personally, I don't think inverters uh, are worth having. Um, other things, uh, there was something's been stuck there at some time. So we've got a couple of little marks on the timbre door thing there. Now these don't look original. Now I am thinking someone has made these drawers because that's not auto trial wood. I think originally these wouldn't pull out. I'm open to being wrong on that. I've not had a 620 in years. Um, but I think someone's made them. Now they've made them in a horrible wood finish. However, it's a really good idea because it just makes it easier to get the stuff that's in there and there's soft clothes as well. So they're quite nicely done, but definitely I would say a homemade addition. Uh, da -da -da -da. That's about it in the front of it. To the back, transverse bed. It does come with a little two-step ladder. It's not too high. I've got short legs and it's about up to my hip height. So you could just hop aboard. That's your table leg. That's your little ladder and your awning winder pole there. Real nice headboard at that end. Very well finished. Storage cupboards up to there. And then full height headroom with reading lamps above there, which is good. Got some light switches and the uh, heater controls there. So you can switch heating on and off from your bed. And that's the first of the new digital controllers, which I think only came out for 2014. So you can just set a temperature, set a timer. Really good. Smart curved cabinet work. Can't see much wrong with it. It, was, so it just needs a clean. But it's not smelly. It doesn't smell like dog or smoke or anything like that. But we prefer to be honest in these videos. But yeah, it'll come up real nice. In the skylight above your red there above the kitchen there's a two-way fan that will suck air in from the outside it's got a skylight above or suck air out if you're cooking real nice bathroom i wasn't expecting this in a six meter fixed bed van at all in fairness to it so it's all sculpted plastic very expensive to do something else they've cheapened these days pull down sink all in good condition and then I would call that a separate shower. That's the last thing I expected was to find a, a separate shower and a six metre fixed bed van. Uh, so you've got a shower curtain, which clearly hasn't seen any action or much action that will hold, uh, go on there to separate your shower space across. So it is, of source, a separate shower, which is not something you will normally see in that. We're being real picky. A couple of signs of age at the bottom of the mirror. This is just nothing. Um, yeah, that's it really. So I think it's fine. It's not like new as a couple of these little button things have gone a bit fluffy or maybe they're always fluffy because they're all the same. So yeah, maybe not fluffy. But uh, yeah, all good. So this is our 2014 Autotrail V-Line 620 automatic 6 metre fixed bed van conversion. Nice miles, 
good condition, good spec, all good really. Uh, it's got the solar panel. Uh, it does have on the roof, if I go up there, I don't know if you can see that, it does have a little um, Max View or something like that satellite dish. Aftermarket audio visual equipment, we don't check or guarantee. So we left on there, we can test it to see if it's working if you want, but we won't be um, fixing it or replacing it if it doesn't work. Some dealers take them off. Sometimes they need reprogramming, but we'll, we'll leave it leave it on there. We can tell if it works. Uh, if it doesn't work, we'll give you the option of fitting a TV aerial for a couple hundred quid if you prefer, basically. Uh, but yeah, this is it. So Autotrail V-Line 620 at Highbridge Motor Motorhomes Devon. That's us. We're just off the A38 South Devon Expressway between Exeter and Plymouth. Very easy to get to. We've also got another branch for people further up a field who buy a van off us. If you live nearer to our Somerset branch, which is near Bristol Airport, you can pick it up from there instead. We'll send it to there for prepping. Uh, ring us 01626 832 792 if you can't get hold of us on that number try the mobile 07432 662558 contact us on the Highbridge Caravans website highbridgecaravans.co.uk and ask about our lovely late 2014 Autotrol V-Line 620 that's automatic it's got a reversing camera aircon cruise it's got an alarm system I didn't mention it's got the old fashioned sat nav with a flip down TV lovely panoramic roof it's got the tow bar the solar panel the satellite system that's not guaranteed, the Omnivent fan, and the cuddly toys. So, uh, yeah, give us a call today, Hybrid Motorhomes Devon. Thank you all.